Uh, Juve have officially replaced their board gab and the outgoing president Agnelli had some parting words about the Super League. Yeah, he came out and he said what he's kind of said all along, that, you know, uh, the, the system is, bro- is broken, UEFA not fit for governance, that's why he had to do the Super League, we're all going to realise it one day, blah, blah, blah. Uh, to which the obvious answer is, so they needed the deep structural reforms. You were on the executive committee, you were the mm-hmm. head of the European Clubs Association. What did you do to for those deep structural reforms? Like, I, this is almost like an ideological battle. I think the most important thing that people need to know here is that Juventus's main shareholder, Exor, which is essentially owned control by the Agnelli family, mm. they have injected seven hundred million worth of equity into the club to make up for the massive losses and some poor decisions that wow. were made with Agnelli as president. That's why the shareholders are angry. When you do a capital injection, you're investing to go forward, yeah. not to go and plug holes from what happened before. Yeah. So New board are saying, you know, they're hoping in five to eight years to have 50% of the players come be homegrown, come from the, you know, Juve Next Gen team. Mm. All of that is great. Let's see if, if, if they stick to it. They need reform, and I think it's time to draw a line under the Agnelli era. Mm. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.